welcome to TL Kicks with Chris. It's your boy, man. Just uh, wanted to welcome you to the new channel. Uh, today, what we're going to be doing is reviewing a couple of shoes. Uh, I got a couple uh, things I want to kind of go over with that. Um, if you're new to the channel, which you probably are, because uh, <laughs> this is our first video, uh, we're going to definitely be talking about sneaker reviews and golf as well as golf apparel. There's a lot of dope drops that's been coming out, a lot of new uh, brands uh, that I wanna explore and talk about that are all about um, uplifting uh, diversity in golf. And that's that's what we all need, right? I mean, you ever been on a golf course and look around and don't see anybody that looks like you? It's not a good feeling. You wanna make sure everybody's included. And uh, golf is a fun sports that allows you to network and check out a bunch of cool things as well. And I pray everybody uh, watching this video is blessed because I know right now we got the whole coronavirus situation that's going on. So stay, stay, stay safe, wash your hands. Um, but let's get right down to it. So today we've got the Jordan 5 Fire Red Golf uh, shoe. So this particular shoe dropped on February 28th. I know I did a extremely early uh, jump start um, post about uh, making sure that I have my YouTube video up, but life happened. I actually had to have uh, hernia surgery, hernia repair. I know, your boy was down for like a week. So I'm back now. Um, still a little slow motion, but I'll be back to 100% where I can golf and I can do more of these videos in probably another week or so. So let's get right down to it. So we got the Jordan 5. Uh, dope, dope golf shoe. Look at that. Look at that reflective tongue. You can't beat that at all. Um, Nike really impressed me with these. I'm cool with the jump man on the back, specifically because the Nike Air is gonna be reserved for the, the Jordan 5, the, the actual um, high top. Um, but this low top is, is just amazing. I mean, it's just a beautiful shoe. Um, the silhouette itself, I'm, only thing I'm kind of downing on is the, the leather. The leather is not not really the best kind of leather. Um, it's They tend to do, these, do this with fives. So I'm not really shocked that this came out like this with the Jordan 5 uh, golf shoe. Um, but ultimately, the overall sneaker itself is, is pretty nice. Uh, dopest part of the shoe. I know guys that have already gotten them and probably worn them on the course. Uh, as cool as this looks, after about two holes of golf in these, this is all gonna be dirty. But the good news is the way Nike made this they made this to where you can simply wash these. You can, you can take these, get them in the sink. You don't even have to get them in the sink. You can get them outside and uh, get your little water hose and go over them. And that dirt and grime can get out of there real easy. So you can keep that nice icy blue sole. So definitely digging these Nike. Um, had the chance to kind of rock them out due to my uh, current procedure. I wasn't able to, uh, haven't been able to play on the course in a while. Um, but I'm looking forward to, uh, to checking these out on the course. Now, the reviews in the future that we'll have will definitely uh, take place near a golf course or on a golf course or at a golf range, so you guys can see how they actually function um, during, the actual, uh, during actual wear and actual play. So that'll be fair to you all at home so you're able to know, you know kind of what's going on there. But yeah, my, my review on these boys, these boys are... Uh, Nike pay very great detail to this shoe. This might be one of the best uh, Jordan silhouettes to be done in a golf shoe, uh, specifically because it stays true to the colorway, stays true to the mold of the shoe. Um, the only thing is it's low tops, but in golf you want low tops. You don't want a high top golf shoe. That's, that's whack. I mean, that's gonna be uncomfortable and it might good, look good with some pants, but ultimately it's not gonna be the functionality that you need on a golf course. But um, I'm super impressed with these. Um, as per usual, you got your, just so y'all know at home, they kept everything OG. So you still got the Air Jordan written out there. Still got your splash, your red splash there, your black sole, jump man on the insole. So super impressed with these. Very nice job, Nike. Um, if I had to, just off cosmetics alone. So we got the... T up kicks with Chris scale. Uh, I would probably have to rate these for the sheer look of them. They're not bulky. They they fit the already smooth silhouette of the normal fives. I would definitely give these uh, 
I have to give these a 9 out of 10. Easy. And the only reason I'm not giving a 10 Nike is because this, y'all went back to this, this cheap leather. I hate this leather. In, in any sneakerhead, even if you're not a sneakerhead, if you look at any fives, for the most part, unless you're going back to the 90s, most of the fives have this terrible, um, uh, what's the word, uh, the synthetic leather as we call it. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just no fun. But obviously you see the guards there. They're, they're still true to OG form. So that's really cool. Um, and the shoe is executed well. So yeah, I, I, I give it what I give it. And you know, that that's a solid, solid nine out of 10. But uh, let's get this leather right. And um, I'll be able to give them that 10 out of 10. So again, Jordan 5 golf shoe. Very great job, Nike. Very good stuff. Um, and because you guys have been so patient and waited for your boy to review and get this review up, I've got a little surprise. In I got another pair of shoes that I'm going to be uh, reviewing and checking out um, that I actually, uh, they came out January 17th, I believe. Another golf shoe, obviously. Um, but I've been wanting to really talk about these, Nike. Uh, these are the Air Max 97. Silver bullets, bam. Uh, I've already had these in you know the normal sneaker uh, shoe uh, silhouette, but kind of want to show you these guys in the actual golf silhouette. So if you're ready, here we go. Introducing to you the Air Max 95 or 97 silver bullets. Uh, so you've seen these in the normal sneaker uh, sneaker silhouette. What's their dope? Nice shoe. I mean, just just a beautiful, beautiful silhouette. Just hard not to like these. I mean, if you're an Air Max guy, you know it's Air Max month. We're in March, um, so these are just the the perfect one of the best uh, Air Max silhouettes ever. And I think uh, I had to ask my mom. I think these might have been the first Air Maxes that she ever purchased for me. So they do have a special place in my heart. Um, and Nike, relatively for the most part did pretty good in delivering on hmm, on the overall uh, cosmetics of the shoe. Um, I think the only thing that kind of rubbed me the wrong way is these things are fucking bricks. Excuse my language. These things are bricks. I mean, this sole and anybody that has worn these, because these have been out since January 17th, so I'm assuming most people that are checking this out uh, have probably already worn them on the course. You've already kind of had a chance to really uh, review them yourself. Um, but yeah, these things are, they, they look amazing. But if you look at this sole, this sole is very rigid, which it should be. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have the, uh, the spikes and the cleat stance, kind of like the fives, um, due to the kind of cosmetics of the shoe alone. But if you look, I mean, it's, it's pretty detailed, uh, pretty wedged in, but I mean, these things are heavy. I mean, if I had to tell you, I'd say these things probably weigh about, this is easily about four pounds per shoe. I mean, this is like, this is like, uh, you know, if you want to get your workout in, man, like your, your, uh, your ankle weights, man, this is like heavy. This is unnecessarily heavy, Nike. I mean, I've, you guys have made, even their normal, you know, any guys that play in your, um, Nike's got a couple different types of uh, just regular silhouettes, golf shoes. I'm um, trying to think of them off top. Of course, I can't right now because my brain is flooded. But um, they've got some regular silhouettes that do the job. They're not as cool, and, you know, they're not as sneakerhead worthy as you would say, but they're nowhere near as heavy as these, and they're a lot more functional. So um, on the Air Max 97 Silver Bullets, uh, although these were a surprise shoe compared to the Jordan 5, I'm going to have to give these, honestly, I'm going to have to give these at least a 6 out of 10. Um, I may be sending them back, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, I'm just not, I'm not sold on the weight and the comfort. And when you're golfing and you're doing 18 holes of golf or even 9 holes of golf, comfort is important. And this shoe itself is just not, it's comfortable as far as putting them on, but as far as wearing them and walking in them and playing golf in them 
I can already tell without even not playing them that they are too heavy and that they're probably going to affect some of your game, especially um, if you're, I mean, all of us claim to be irons guys, right? Um, but I, I can imagine uh, about 140 yard uh, iron shot. You get out your, get out your wedge and you, you, you're wanting to get comfortable and you're getting those, uh, those feet into the green. Um, the, the lift up, if you're, if you're left-handed or if you're right-handed on whichever, uh, uh, foot you're coming off of is, is gonna be is gonna be a pain so uh ultimately these are six out of ten for me um and i hate that nike didn't deliver initially but hey nike there's always chances to make better and do better um so hopefully after you see this review y'all can make the needed updates and you know make this shoe into what it can be um overall i love the silhouette though it's perfect great work yeah, so like I was saying, uh, these are just not, they're not just ideal golf shoes. They're not something, I mean, they, they look good. You're going to see a lot of guys rocking these, and they're going to look really good. But as far as full-on functionality and comfort, if you pull a guy aside after he's had a couple beers for about half the round, about nine holes of golf, he'll, he'll let you know they're a little heavy. Um, so that's that. But... Appreciate you checking out my first episode. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Check your boy out on Instagram. Uh, it's at TUPKicks with Chris. Um, I'm going to have a, not just reviews uh, on there, but it'll also have uh, some cool apparel that you guys can check out. And what I'll do is to make this even cool, if you're interested in either one of these pairs, I'll drop the link below in the uh, in the comments section. So you'll, you can grab it there, you know, especially on the fives, since the fives is solid. And even if you're still an Air Max 97 guy and you think these will work for you, you can check out the link there. But um, other than that, it's been a pleasure. Appreciate you checking your boy out. And y'all have a great rest of the day, man.